Back with a game three between us, Sijumas and Ampo for ulti around a seven a losers bracket. So let me talk about the teams real quick. Uh, Sijumas team is known. It was used in Snake multiple times uh, by ABR and some. I think Blanda used it as well. Yeah. So yeah, um, let me talk about this. Uh, so there's a scar feature, and right with flash can overheat will wisp and earth power for recall correctly. Uh, Megalady with sub command to recover and stored power. Spikes a uh, Ferrothorn with lead sheet knockoff power, right? Um, defensive lander with helmet, if I recall correctly, with rocks, U turn, earthquake, HP, ice. Spidef packs with uh, haste, toxic spikes, recover, and scald. And Calman, Clefable with cosmic power, softball, and moonblast. And let me talk a bit about Empo's team. So he has another offense packing here. It's gonna be rocks, lead drill, uh, spikes, Greninja. Um, it might be screens Coco to support the, the Halucha, the Magina and the, the Pinsir. He has like a lot of potential like setup mods like um, SD Pinsir, SD Halucha. Uh, Halucha obviously gets a defense boost as well from Halucha, uh, from Coco's electric seed. Like the terrain from Coco gives Halucha a defense boost with electric seed is what I'm trying to say. And the gear, um, I think the gear is going to be Z-move. Uh, the Coco is going to be like light clay with screens and U-turn and taunt, something like that. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if the green just like a uh, sash or orb, but yeah, Sijuma leads with Tran. He doesn't want to risk an earthquake, he just goes on the lando. I assume that Empo just rocks here, he earthquakes. So yeah, last time we had the same scenario and um, Sijuma stayed in when he went for rocks and he got he got the play correct. So this time Sijuma didn't want to risk it and he got the play correct again. So um, he can now just get his own rocks mm -hmm. because the drill can never spin versus the lando because the lando has helmet so the drill will die. Um, and the, the spin wouldn't go through. So now the drill dies to rocks and Ampo's never gonna get his spin off. Uh, Sijima's gonna switch here in a Toxapex or Ferrothorn. But yeah, that, that Halucha can be a threat for sure. Uh, if you can weaken the Clefable. Because the Pex is Spadef, so it takes a lot from plus two aggro. Um, yeah, the Clef is max defense, so pretty sure it's able to take a plus two aggro even. So like I said, you have to weaken the Clef. Before he can like put in a lot of work with Alucha. So he gets up a spike on the obvious switch. And see uh is probably just gonna scald here. I see Empo um Okay, I thought he would sack his Excadrill, but he keeps the sack for later. He goes into his Coco. And what screen is he gonna get up here? He's gonna get up uh Like if he wants to set up with Halucha, what screen does he need more? I think he needs light screen a bit more because that helps Halucha with his HPS from land or with his Moonblast from Cafable. And yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah, Sijuma's team is pretty much special b b completely besides of Ferrothorn. Besides, yeah, only Ferrothorn is physical and Ferrothorn can't touch Halucha. Ferrothorn can only leech sheet Halucha. It cannot touch it with his physical attack. So yeah, light screen is gonna be more valuable in this game. So I think he's gonna light screen and then U turn out. Uh, Sijuma is gonna go Ferrothorn here most likely. I mean, I'm thinking it's screen's Coco, but it's not confirmed yet, right? So we don't know that, uh, like guaranteed. So yeah, just going Ferrothorn seems fine here. Okay, T spikes. Uh, maybe he knew that. It, um, maybe he knew that it was uh, a screen's Coco. Um, I know Pex can take a hit, but I thought he would want to keep his Pex healthy uh, for the Magirna and. I mean, Pex has region, we all know how stupid Pex is. It worked out for Sijima really nicely. So yeah, this is the screen's U-turn set that I was expecting. So Halucha might come out here. Yeah. And Halucha can SD here. Uh, I assume Sijima is going to lead sheet expecting the, the SD. Because since the light screen is up, going hard, Clef doesn't work. Because um, I think Clef loses one-on-one -on -one to this. I think he needs to chip it down for us with like lead sheet and helmet from Landris. Uh, so usually this Haluchas run uh, SD. Acrobatics, HJK, and then either Drain Punch or Roost. Uh, Roost is like not that common on it, but if Empo has Roost on this, it would be really nice in this matchup. Um, because the if if he lead, if he leads it here and Halucha has these, then and the and the land also has Helmet right to chip the Halucha. But if he has Roost, he can counteract that. Like he can stay healthy with his Halucha. Like he can eat HPS with ease and he can stay healthy with his Halucha. That would be amazing for Empo if he has Roost. I think Sejuma is gonna switch into his Landris here. Uh, if Ambo predicts that in SDs again, he's in a really nice position. Let's see if he does. 
He does just H check. He didn't want to play around with the Furl Thumb too much. And I assume Sijima is going to HP Ice here, right? But yeah, Lucha is pretty low now. If he doesn't have Roosters, Lucha is pretty much um, kept in check fine. But yeah, this is like gonna be deciding um, if it has Roost, it's still a big threat. If it doesn't have Roost, it's pretty much not gonna put in that much work, So I'm trying to say. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I see Sejima definitely HP icing here. Like, I don't think he would Earthquake. Would he Earthquake? Like, Earthquake would be if he breaks the Roost. Mm. Nah, I think you HP ice here. And if you Empo... If you don't have Roost, um... You SD again, I think, and then you Acro, right? I think you, I think he lives... Uh, Lichi plus HP ice easily because of the Reflect. Uh, I think HP ice does like maybe 15 or 10% with the Reflect, uh, with the Light Screen up. There's a Reflect, I'm in Light Screen. Like, it shouldn't do that much, it should do like 15 maybe. It's just a health calc, obviously I haven't calced it. Um, other ones that could put in work for Empo later. Um, yes, Pinsa can put in some work, but that little T-Spike that Sijima got up with his Pex is gonna be amazing. Um, since the drill dies to rocks, um, Empo can never get rid of the T-Spikes. They're gonna hit the Coco, the Pinsa and the Greninja. But the Greninja isn't really a threat. The Greninja, the Greninja is only annoying in, as in it sets up spikes because uh, both players don't have hazard control. Like both hazards are always there to stay when they get up. But yeah, I'm both thinking this through like super hard, which is understandable. And yeah, the gear, um. The Gear can still win for like Ampo, it's not like even if the Halucha dies here, it's not like the, the Gear can't bring like win this game for Ampo. Like, he has some options. I'm definitely thinking it's Z-Move Gear at this point if I didn't already say that earlier. So yeah, it does have Roost. And does he HPS? Yeah, it does HPS. So that does 10, which means he would have done 20 without Roost, okay? So this makes uh, things a bit different. Um, if Sejima didn't have the Lichi on Alucha, this Alucha would destroy him so, like even like harder than it's already doing. Yeah, so Empo can SD again here. I think Sejima's gonna go to Clefable. Um, I guess he can U-turn here to get some chip. I think U-turn to Clef is fine. Because the Clevis makes defense, so it might be able to live even a plus uh, five. Is it plus five? No, no, it's plus. Wait, wait, wait. At the moment, he's at plus one attack. If he has these again, he's at plus three, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, it's plus three. I think the Clev might be able to live a plus three attack from the Halucha. Plus five would obviously kill. But yeah, it's Max, Max, Bold, Clef, and. Acro might be like a roll to kill that. I'm not 100% sure. But I think he wants to, like. The thing is, I don't check like lives Moonblast from Clefable, so it's gonna be able to like two hit KO it. But he needs that Moonblast damage to weaken the Halucha, and then his screens are gonna end, and then HPS from Lando does more, and then Halucha is also gonna be forced to roost eventually. Uh, and if Halucha is low, Sijuma can also go for off quick later in the game, breaking the roost. Um, with combination of the leech, it is gonna be fine. Yeah, so he does just U-turn for that nice chip, and he's gonna go clef here and hope that he can live one, because he doesn't have another play. Like, I don't think he has another play. Like, am I missing something? I think clef was his only play, right? Uh, everything else gets blown away by the Lucha. Then the Pexus split death, it gets blown away. So he's gonna go for Moonblast here as... Oof, if he lives, he can go for Moonblast, as he does live on... on 5%. I actually thought he would live on like 1 or 2%, took it a bit better than I thought. Yeah, so he's gonna have to sack his Clefable. The reason why he has to sack his Clefable here is he cannot afford to switch into Landers. Uh, because if he switches into Landers, he and Halucha goes for Roost. 
Uh, Sejuma is like really in a, is in a bad spot, so he has to sack. He has to stay in at Moonblast here, so the Halucha cannot roost. And since Moonblast is doing 43 and the Halucha is leech seated, it cannot roost up the damage. Also, the terrain, there's this, not the terrain. The screen is gonna end the next turn, so Empo is pretty much forced to aggro here. With uh, and, but Sejuma is also forced to switch in. Like they're kind of both forced to like attack each other because Sejuma doesn't want the Lucha to roost and Empo doesn't want to roost and have the light screen end next turn. So like Ample doesn't gain anything if he roosts here. Because Moonblast and Leech Sheet just does too much, like he cannot uh, recover it off. So he's just gonna acro here and Sejuma should just sack the clef, like I said. And afterwards he can go into Landris and um Yeah he just, just echo. Now he can go into Landris and spam Earthquake because um if Halucha attacks, it dies to Rocky Helmet and it's also seeded. Uh, and if it, if it roosts, it gets hit by Earthquake. And the combination of Earthquake, Earthquake doing damage, decent damage to Halucha, I would say it does like 30 ish. Plus, the Halucha being lead seeded means that it cannot really. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that play from both players. Because um, the Halucha cannot really roost off Earthquake since it's also lead seeded. And the Landers would also get health back from lead seed and then would eventually maybe get out of range from Acro. So like I don't think there was a point in roosting, so completely agree with just attacking. But at least Halucha got two kills, uh, put in some work for Ampo. Um, now Sejima is probably gonna go Heatran because it's a scarfed Tran, and I think he's gonna click Flash Cannon because he doesn't wanna uh, like overheat can miss basically. Flash Cannon is one hundred percent accurate, and off power is would also be fine, but off power does um. That's the pincer, in, and that gives the pincer free SD. So I don't think he's gonna off power. Um, I think he's just gonna flash can, yeah. Um, he doesn't. You don't risk missing f overheat. There's like no reason to go for it. That's trying to like really interesting. Like I said earlier, it will wisp overheat flash can off power. Like not having flamethrower or fire on Scarfdrun is really weird. Like Scarfdrun in general is not common, but it's actually really nice on this team. Um, to help versus stuff like uh, Kartana. Like SD Kartana, the huge threat to this team. And uh, yeah, Pinsler can also be a huge threat to this team. So now he goes into gear knowing that the turn is locked in the flash can. And Sijuma is gonna go into his Tox the packs here because it's a Spadev packs. Uh, the thing is, Electric Terrain is up, so T-Bolt is gonna do a lot. Um, yeah, this is most likely the moving gear, I've already talked about it. He does go on a toxic pack. Let's see if it's shift gear gear. It is trick room. Okay, that's really cool. Um, it's, it's probably trick room three attacks. Uh, so which team move? It could be Gigavolt Havoc because it gets boosted from Coco's terrain. So it makes sense. Would make sense on this team. Um, what else is this team weak to? I don't think this team is weak to Ferrothorn because like. Yeah, it's not that weak to Ferrothorn, so I don't think it would be all out pummeling. Oh. Sejima the gold goes in the Ferrothorn, um, scouting for it. Like, I don't know if he, like, expected the Gigavolt Havoc or if he, like, just scouted for regular T-Bolt. But it is, it is Focus Blast T-Bolt, okay. So the, the last move is either Ice Beam or Flash Can. I would assume. Uh, it could also be Flur, but yeah, let me think, let me think. So that, that's crazy. He has the Focus Blast, he hits it, he gets rid of the Ferrothorn, and now... Um, he has a plus one gear on the trigger room that uh, with electric terrain T bolt. Um, maybe the Ladi can beat it one on one. If it doesn't have ice beam, the Ladi can potentially beat it. Um, but no, 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 the Ladi cannot come out at the moment because trick room is up. If it has like flash can or ice beam, the Ladi would get blown away. So he goes Pex and oh yeah, the Pex is faster than trick room and can haze him. I completely forgot about that for a second. Oh my. Oh, Pex is so fad. I completely forgot about that for a second. Like the trick room being up helps him, yes, versus the Ladi versus the trend, but the Pex is obviously slow as dirt. And now he pivoted out into Ladi to get regen back. And this is a common Ladi. So if the gear does not have ice beam, the Ladi also beats the gear one on one, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Like not even if it has ice beam. Even if it has ice beam, if the Ladi comments up, it eats up ice beam, is what I'm trying to say. Um so Sijuma is 
gonna go to heat drain here maybe on the on the frustration actually Empo might just Empo might just go to uh, Greninja here because Greninja Greninja walls this Lari because uh, it's a dark type okay he just subs up uh, understandable to get um understandable to get um poison damage on the on the pins there so he comments okay 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 so now stored power with the poison damage i think it kills with the poison damage yeah so i do understand this why did he not quick attack he didn't want him to recover i guess but yeah like i was a bit confused there too for a second um i thought Digimon should have gone into the heat but subbing actually worked out really nicely for him um the t-spec putting in so much work this is why talking is broken <laughs> t-spec is just so good and wait doesn't this Lottie win now because i mean it doesn't win just yet but the thing is the greninja that yeah exactly he can stay in and he can start power because if the greninja attacks it loses like if it taunts yeah you had taunt to like stop it from setting up but if it attacks it loses as a dark type and if it doesn't attack then the lot doesn't care uh, but the thing is now he's taunted so he's probably gonna switch like since it sounds he cannot recover and he would um he probably doesn't want to take like ice beams to the face so i assume he's gonna go to toxapex here because if emperor trick rooms up um Chijuma can recover with his toxapex because the pex is fast and trick room right but this is an intense game, good god. Uh, the, it's not over yet. Um, like, it's looking a bit in Sijuma's favor, but it's a Magina, it can still win. <laughs> like, it's freaking broken as Mon. Like, Magina is, I think, A plus at the moment. I don't know why it's not S rank anymore. Like, I know a lot of people just use Assault Vest gear, and it, like, it has not have that much. It has not had. <laughs> why can I not talk? It hasn't had that much. Hasn't had that much success in tournament play lately. Um, which is one of the reasons I think why it's not S rank anymore, but like, huh. Like, you just have to have, if you have the correct set, your opponent is pretty much screwed. Um, a lot of people, like I said, uh, in I think another video that I did earlier, a lot of people prepare for Bolt Beam, but like... If you, if you have the correct set, it's just deadly. So he's just gonna recover again. Um, pretty much what Sijuma has to try to do is, um, like the drill dies to rocks, right? The drill is not a factor anymore in this game. But what he has to do is, like, if his pack dies when Trick Room ends, then Scar Feature just wins the game. It's like if Sijuma can make the Trick Room end and have packs die at the same time, he can just win with Heatrun. And also, if he can get a burn on this gear, that would definitely be helpful to chip it down 6% uh, every turn. I'm not 100 percent sure why he recovered there. He could have scalded there and tried to get a burn. Or maybe yeah, maybe that has something to do with what I just said. Like he just maybe he just wants his packs to die when Trick Room ends, but I feel like scalding there was still fine, like right? Am I missing something? Also this gear um probably lifts off power from heat since it's max HP. Like Trick Room gear should run max HP. Um, so that would mean that Tren would have to hit an overheat and overheat can miss, we all know that. He didn't go for it earlier because he can miss. So that's... Like he has to get more chip damage on the gear to get it in earth power range. I mean Pex can also just beat it. Uh, and since now he gets the burn. Ample focus blasted. So let me expand this play to you. Now the game is over. He focus blasted because um, Trick Room would have ended next turn. And I think he predicted... Yeah, he predicted CG might have gone to the heat turn that turn where Trick Room uh, would have... Yeah, now it's over, like, because he's burned, he's getting chipped. Like, he, the trick would have ended, and he predicted him to go heat drain, this is why he focus blast. Like, I understand it, kind of, but I feel like Sijuma was, was fine just staying in. Uh, yeah. I mean, if he got, like, para crit, if he, like, got a crit on the correct turn on the packs, um, like a para or a crit, and then had the, had the trick room still up when the packs died, then uh, Empo could have won with this. Um, but yeah, this, this game was a bit wild. I definitely had, like, like overall my narration was fine I feel like but I had like some little errors here and there uh, but yeah this, um, this drill just dies to, to hazards thank you guys for watching this was an intense series uh, Sejima does take the series and moves on to ulti round 8 losers bracket if you guys have watched the um, Sabella vs Shoka series that I have uploaded the replays of earlier you guys know who Sejima is gonna face in round 8